Okay, we are about ready to go. Let me just get this going. Alright, there's that. And let me swap it over. Can't wait to see what we get into today. Take it away, operator. So I did a little bit of grinding this morning, but not enough as I would have. I didn't get to get around to it yesterday after stream. However, training in Undernet 1 or for the Green Mystery Data grinding is better than Nebula area. Part of it is because the enemies are slightly easier. The rewards are the same in terms of money and bug fragments. And then under net one, if you talk to this guy right here, he can sell lock enemies. So whenever run one runs out, you just buy a new one. Now, I have 71 bug fragments. I know that's not enough to get absolutely everything that I would want out of the bug frag traders for it to count, but it is what it is. Um, let's... With the money I have, I bought because I bought one lock enemy. Let's see what I can get. Let's see what I could get in both uh, HP memories and what I could get with buff rags. Then we'll go from there. The main thing we have to do now is getting the S ranks for our six navvies or six teammates. But once we do that, there's not much left. So, gotta get done what I can, you know? Let's start with going to the bug frag trader in Scilab. And I have the enemies at level one. They're easier to run away, they're easier to take out. The, the in-battle green mystery data doesn't change. So, we need to get to Psylab 3. There we go. Not there yet. Uh, can I do this? Yeah, I can, I can do this. Get rid of whatever rewards in there. Two buck frags, that's something. That is something. Alright. So, there are the, these three. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. If I don't get these two, I think we'll be okay. Yes, different codes, but we have the chips anyway. I think it was more important to get the... the Navicustomizer programs. Now, because we got three more Navicust programs, uh, let's do the compression. Flip shoe first. Okay, hold right. A, L, L, B, R, L, A, 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 L. Okay. Then it was auto run does not have one millions. Get green mystery data equals any. R L R A R R L L L R. And auto run will not have one. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, now, let's see what we could buy with HP, for HP memories. Supposedly, either all of them is going to be from shops, or, if not from shops, then there might be some on the net, but I'm not sure which. I kind of wish I did more grinding on my own time, but it is what it is. <laughs> Go 
This way. Down here. Okay. Go this way. We can go down here, I think. Sometimes working backwards, I get confused on the layout sometimes. Fine, what is it? Is any? Okay. Alright, shop. What, what can I get? Alright, we got everything here. So, when, now when it comes to HP memories from the shops, we need the ones from Undernet, the Undernet de net dealer, and the Nebula area net dealer. Hmm. I don't remember if I bought one from the Neb from the Nebula net dealer or not. Maybe I can pull up that power up guide. Yeah, net dealer. So let me see. There are a total of four from the Undernet 3 net dealers that you can get. I am not sure if I have it. Trap. Let's see. 15k. So... I bought the first one. I bought the first one. So there's this one and two more. So that's a total of three. That's three. That would bring me to 920. And if Nebu if I have not bought a single one in Nebula Area 2, that would be the rest of them. And that, it requires a lot of Zenny. And I still need some bug frags. Hmm. How do we want to handle this? Let me look. You know what? Well, let me grab the green mystery data first. The one that's probably up here. Let me look at uh, how many bug frags I kind of need for the Undernet 2 net dealer. Or bug frag dealer. We'll go from there. But the main goal will be to go after the Navi SS rank them. There's a lot to do. I'm wondering how... Okay. No kernel. Check for green. Not there. Here, there's one. Okay, nothing good. Grab this green. Some extra zenny. this. There we go. Untrap. Good. Eh. Recover 120. Alright. Let's check the bug track trader and see what we need. Well, there's two here. At bare minimum, 
to get both of these, I would want 120 bug frags. The other chips I kind of have, other versions I don't necessarily need. Hmm. I do have A. Uh, I have A lock and me. We could go after. We could go after one of the navvies now. I could try doing a se grinding session. To get some extra bug frags and zenny. Uh, this is really bad. Let's do one grinding session. Just one. Just one section session in Undernet Area 1. And then after that's done, we'll re I'll rebuy the lock enemy. Not this way. Actually. Yeah, Green Mystery Day right here. Katana. Yeah. I'm looking for... There's two of them I'm kind of looking for. Honestly, the drill one's not that bad when they're this weak. Is there one down here? Nope. I came out up there is where I would want to be. But yeah, right now I basically have to make a choice whether or not I want to grind for money or, like, how much money do I want to grind for. And I know we could get an okay amount of money if we do the untrap, if we use untrap and just open some green mystery data, but that only goes so far. It's way better to just do this, the in-battle green mystery data, and just reset. The other option I could do is there's those patch cards that can give you some zenny. I could do that. If I need, like, the last of the HP that I need. Okay, fine. Whatever. Lock enemy. If I think I need the Zenny to get the last of the HP memories, we may end up having to use that depending on how much we get done. And I think that's going to be a big factor. But for now, let's just take a look. Okay, good, Zenny. Here's the thing about the Zenny rewards. You basically need two Zenny rewards to make back what you spent on the lock enemy. Then anything after that is profit. And right now, <clears throat> I'm going to make a save whenever I get either Zenny or Bug Fragments. We're just going to do the one session. Come on. Nope. Jeez, I have lock in me. You'd think they would have popped up. <laughs> There we go. Uh, yeah, we better. Let's 
since they can basically charge forward, I don't care which one I take out. I just want to get rid of one of them. I thought I would have hit both. There's one. There we go. Good, extra zenny. I've made back the money that I spent on the on the lock enemy. Now for profit. One thing I could do now that I'm thinking about it, I could use the Zenny and just keep buying lock enemies until I max out. Because here's the thing. Uh, I only need to fight six more navvies, and then I'm going to need one more for later. So I technically don't even need all eight, but if I max out on all eight... And that basically means that most likely any zenny that any extra zenny that I do get could be used for buying. I don't know. Just buy lock enemies one at a time, use them one at a time. Never use more lock enemies that you spent, I don't know. But we'd be doing this grind for a while if we, if I was doing that. But that'd probably be a way to do this at this point. Nope, reset that. this going. Even with lock enemy, you think I would have a higher chance of getting them to pop. Okay, here we go. What's this? Maybe having the shortcut be Scully isn't the worst idea. Gunsoul, dang it, come on. You know, with Gunsoul and Sanctuary being one in eight each, you'd think I would have, you know, gotten them less. Oh well. It's always the case of whenever you don't need them anymore, you you always get them. But whenever you do need to get them, you never see it. That's how my luck always works. Well, guess what? I need Gun Soul. I need it with a passion. It is the most required thing I need to get right now. I am hunting for this. As well as Sanctuary. I gotta specify that too.
There we go. Let's go, Tomahawk Soul. So I think Shadow Man is probably going to be the hardest one to go after. Out of the, um, I think Nightman would probably be one of the easier ones. But we'll see. Okay, Zenny reward. We'll take that. See what we get. I like how I'm getting a lot of Zenny rewards, but I still, I, I also still need bug fragments. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are patch cards that give bug frag rewards. It'd be under items. Zen a lot of zennies. 15 bug fragments. Zenny. Twenty bug fragments. So what that's 35 so far, if I remember correctly, 35 bug fragments. That's it. 35 bug fragments. <laughs> like, 15 there. 20. That's not much. You get w I think you get way more out of the Zenny than you do the bug fragments. That's a little ridiculous. That is actually not much. <laughs> That is not many bug fragments at all. Um, I don't think. Oh, well. Hold on, I can maybe make it work. Maybe, we'll see. But this is not a fight I really want to lock enemy to. Nope, okay, I messed that up. It could have worked. It could have worked, but I messed that up. But that is definitely a fight I do not want to lock enemy again. Hi. Let's keep going. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's start with this. There we go. Uh, the last one's still there. Can't do anything about that yet. There we go. Extra Zenny. All right. Nope, not what I need. Let's keep this going. Wow, like, ugh, yeah, come on, keep this going, we're getting, this is why I was willing to do this off stream, <laughs> because this is tedious. Okay. So yeah, I think, I do think, now that I actually looked at the net dealers, that the rest of the HP memories are going to be from them. I just thought I bought more, but never mind on that. Okay, one left. There we go. 
More Zenny. I mean, I'll take it. Do we have... I feel like Lock Enemy is going to end soon. Yeah, there it is. That feels like it might be enough steps for another fight. I'll reset a couple times and see if we can get an encounter. But if we don't, we're just going to have to buy Lock Enemies. One more time. One more time. Okay, nothing. All right. I am going to just keep buying as many of these as I can. Five. Okay. Lock enemy. Use one up. We have four left. We could keep this going until I max out on lock enemies. Or we go attempt... Or, or we go attempt one of them now. Because no matter how you look at it, I'm going to have to come back and grind for some more. Oh yeah, I think bare minimum, I think I need seven? But having the full eight is that safety net. I think that's right. Bug fragments, we'll take it. Need more of those. setting for that. I'm not keeping that. I'm not, I already have plenty of sanctuaries. I'm good. Don't need sanctuary. No. I know this is basically the grinding part, kind of the, mostly the bo boring part, but it, here's the thing, this is the Battle Network 5 experience. This is the best way I could think of to gather money, and then those net dealers, they make you spend a lot of money on HP. Too bad Guardian's not going to work. Okay. What do we got? Scully? Perfect. That's enough to get mine back. Wait, hold on, hold on. Dark Toad Man. Triple delete. Uh, no, I don't need Gun Soul. I don't need it. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Let's 
try that again. Dark Toad Man. Triple delete. What did we get? Sanctuary again? No, we got Gunsoul last time. Either way, it was not what I want. go. Let's try this again. Scully can take out one or two. One sword. What's that? Bug frags will take it. We need a lot of bug fragments. And you know, I'm really thinking about it. Even if I took all of those Zenny rewards from the patch cards, uh, like after I, like when all set and get done, right? Even if I took them all, it st still probably won't be enough to gather every, uh, the last of the HP memories. <laughs> It still probably won't be enough. And that's the ridiculous part. Yeah. Man, I remember the GBA days actually having the soft reset function. It was like A, B, start, select, but no, I have to do the whole manual thing. Now, to be fair, it's a weird, awkward angle to do, even if it was A, B, start, select. It would still be awkward, but still. It was there. How the hell did you slip past? Fragments. Let's go. No. Let's see. Come on. Nope, not it. Let's see. Please, green mystery data, and please be zenny or bug fragments, either or. Lock enemy expired. Okay. I already know we could get another encounter. I already know that. Let's hunt it down. There we go. Perfect. It's two. Okay. And we get bug fragments. Save. Lock enemy expired. Okay. Sadly, on the base, I didn't really make a profit when it comes to Zenny. I I do think we'll grind for lock enemies. How's it going? Going okay. Uh, we did a lot yesterday, and there's just only a little bit left, Hot Corn Dog. We're kind of doing some of the grind right now. Uh, like right now, when it comes to HP memories, I have to buy the rest. 
all, all of them are in net dealers. And it's very spendy. Not only that, we still need, we still need at least 120 bug fragments. And we did, oh, more bug fragments, there we go. We still, we need at least 120 bug fragments. We need a lot of Zenny. And I also need to grind for lock enemies because we need to go S rank our teammates. And that is kind of the main goal. But here's the thing. Cryptocurrency tr crash time? Exactly. Exactly. It's time to crash the economy. That is exactly what we're doing. But yesterday, I mostly did a lot of cleanup. Because I thought I was going to go after the navvies, but then, like, I, I was doing, like, some research. And it turns out I missed a lot of things. <laughs> there were a lot of things I just missed, overlooked, uh, so on and so forth. Like, I went back into the squirrel comp to check, to get every reward there. It turns out I only got, like, one out of, like, six green mis blue mystery datas that were there. <laughs> Could do this. Let's try it. Fuck. We'll take it. Uh, I did some extra lotto numbers yesterday because apparently the list I originally looked at didn't even have them all. So I, while I didn't do the rest of the lotto numbers, I did the ones that I knew I didn't have. And I thought that were kind of useful. Uh, yeah, yesterday I didn't even attempt. I did not even attempt uh, going S rank in the navvies. I did have to go out to Cosmo Man, though. You see, uh, in Oron Area 3. Wow, I'm getting a lot of bug fragments now. In Oron Area 3, there's a guy that will give you a spare folder called the Bad Folder. It's more like it's more like the uh, evil folder, but near the bottom, you can see there's Blizzard Man Dark Soul, Shade Man Dark Soul, and Cloud Man Dark Soul. And that goes in your library. It counts. It counts to 100%. So I had to get Cosmo Man. And we went the route of just fighting him in Undernet 4. You could do the last liberation mission in Nebula area. If you want to go that route. And just uh, finish it on time, basically. Bad forward is corny? Exactly. It is corny. It's so bad. It's so serious. It's like the power glove. But yeah, there were two ways to get Cosmo Man, Dark Soul, Chip, and we went the route of just fighting him in Nebula. There's probably some other stuff up. Uh, okay, there might be enough to get one more fight in. Also, we got... Whoops. Every reg up so now i can put uh up to 50 points in my shortcuts uh what else oh we looked at base cross mega man and we messed with that around a bit by equipping base cross mega man you get 20 percent there's actually two forms of base cross mega man depending on which game you play but in Colonel, it's you have a 20% HP boost, float shoe, and uh, no matter what, you have a minus two for your mega folder. Your normal mega buster is a, uh, basically a shotgun, a spread shot. And your charge shot is a little bit different. That It basically hits three times sort of thing. Like, it's pretty cool. 
I messed around with that a little bit. But apparently, if you uh, have Base Cross Mega Man, you go to Oron Area 3, and there's a little event where you fight Base. You managed to beat him. Then after that, we went to Nebula Area 4, still with Base Cross Mega Man form. We went to a secret uh, hidden pathway dead end to Nebula Area 4, and we fought him again, Base Alpha. He had more HP, he was stronger, yada yada yada. Other than that, I think... What else? We got a bunch of Navi Customizer programs. Uh, this game lets you compress Navi Customizer stuff again, like in Battle Network 3. So I went through and did all the ones that I do have. There's only a couple more that I don't. What else? trying to think what else I might have done, but, like, yeah, other than that, I went around the place a couple times. There's some trading sequences that I didn't finish, that I, that I did finish, uh, or did as much as I wanted to, uh, yeah. A lot got done yesterday, but not in the ways I was planning. <laughs> Uh, the beaten God of War 1. Gameplay holds up even more than... Though the camera angles can be hard to get at times. So. Graphically, it hasn't aged well, but it's not terrible. Cutscenes still slow. Can't have to replay it again on the hardest difficulty. Very nice. Um, graphics don't age well. I mean, it wasn't it early PS2? Or was it like mid PS2? Was it one of those cases where... God of War 2 came out on the PS2 when the PS3 was out? Or it was like that close? It was something like that? Like how late in the PS2's life cycle was God of War 1? Okay. Getting more bug fragments. I have to buy another lock enemy. Not making much uh, profit. How about we'll at least do one more attempt with lock enemy? I don't know. And whatever I get is whatever I get. We'll start going after Navi's. Late PS2, like, months from PS3. Yeah, okay. But, yeah. It is... It is a game that came out in the early 2000s. You know, it is what it is. But, like, there are still plenty of games on the PS2 that still hold up today. But a lot of those games typically are cartoony in art style. Like Dragon Quest VIII. That game still holds up well. Visually. But that's also, like... Uh, that's also a different art style that just holds up better. Again, when you make your art style there as realistic as possible, it's not going to hold up after a few years. Hmm. Yeah. Again, that's a series I probably need to try. But that's also a series that's hard to stream for. At least the Greek trilogy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still keeping my eye on Amazon for Thousand Year Door. I was talking to my friend yesterday, and he said what might be the case is... Nintendo is telling these retailers not to make them be able to pre-order so they can avoid scalpers beforehand. And that's just the general thing they're doing now, maybe. I don't know if that's true. 
But I'm still keeping an eye out for Thousand Year Door. It's like three ch Yeah. Just an advertisement. Just got an advertisement for Thousand Year Door? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm going to play it. But speaking of Thousand Year Door, just today I heard something about it. And I was willing to look into it because I knew it was always going to be a... Like, there, I knew there was going to be something about this, so I was willing to look into it. And it's about, uh, it's about Vivian. And I wasn't sure what route they were going to take. But I knew that whatever they did, they decided to go with Vivian. Like, there was no right answer. And... I think the choice they made is closer than the original English translation, but it's still wrong. It's still, uh, I would still call it bad local, bad localization, but for a different reason than the original. If that makes sense. Again, Vivian is a. Uh, if you know nothing, a thousand your door. I hope. Uh, if you know who, what Birdo is, it Vivian's in a similar situation to what Birdo is, so, yeah. No matter what you do with Vivian, it's gonna cause problems. Uh, Vivian's gonna cause problems. No matter what route you take. So it's Blades of Chaos, which he loses. Near the end of the first game, the Blades of Athena, which keeps throughout two and the majority of three until rest by ghosts, and then he gets the Blades of Exile. The rest of the three until the game ends. I get it, yeah. And I know, the Drillheads, they're just flying through space and breaking through reality, you know? They're just causing portals to other dimensions. It's weird. But you know what's funny? They obviously just based this off Drillman in Battle Network 3, who was able to do just that. Oh good, some extra Zenny. You can buy two more uh, lock enemies with this. He somehow gets the Blades of Chaos again. Let's see if we can get another random encounter before it uh, runs out. Blades of Chaos, and that's the first one, and he loses them near the end of the game. How did he lose them? How, how did he lose them in the first game? Yeah, I remember watching a playthrough of the first uh, remake God of War. And I remember seeing that he got the Blades of Chaos again. Alright. We have six subships. That's... Or six locks... Six lock enemies. That's enough for the Navi hunting. Let's start Navi hunting. Let's, do, let's break it up. Alright. Let's start going in order. Let's start with Nightman. First, untrap. Second, Let's get rid of that. 
And let's throw in Sneak Run. It'll make it easier to find Nightman. Granted, Float Shoe is going to be su uh, super nice. Or Air Shoes. It's going to be super nice when we actually fight Nightman. But we kind of need... Uh, you know, getting rid of random encounters is also very nice. Where's the green mystery data? Probably over here. There it is. Mini bomb. Eh. Actually, at this point, I'm hoping for green mystery data to be zenny, even if it's very tiny amounts. Just anything extra would be nice. So yeah, here's what we have left in the game that I can think of. We got an S rank, the, the last six navvies. Doing that will, one, let us t start doing the Nebula 6 stuff, as well as max out our Mega Chips by getting the SP. When we got all the SP, we can open one of the doors in Nebula Area 4. And that's one step closer to completion. There's one door in Nebula 4 where we need every HP memory. That's still going to take a while. Um, but yeah. Really, after doing this, we'll be able to do Nebula 6 stuff, and we at least... No, we need to do that once, then I think we need to leave, come back, go to Nebula 6 again, and there's a random encounter there that we would need to do. I think that's how it works. And here's Nightman. Let's just get a single KO in and we'll lock enemy. Okay. I do think that our strategy to uh, to win will be mostly for uh, I don't know if the times four would have been good, but I I think the strategy will be to get bodyguard. Yeah, that, that is seven hundred damage. Uh, that is one of my better damaging moves. Um, okay, we have Scully. Is that one more? Okay, getting confused. That's two out of three. What's the best route? Chaos Lord, just get some extra damage in there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. 540. Now he can't jump even if he wanted to. Not enough for Bodyguard. That's the fun... Now the funny thing is we could use this. Tomahawk Soul, Fire Hit. I got hit, whatever. If I didn't get hit twice, that would have actually counted. All right. Let's throw Air Shoes back in. Did I forget something? Attack max. No, I already... Have... No, that's everything. Yeah. Okay, lock enemy. When fighting Ares, he used his magic to put Kratos in a dimension to mentally torture Kratos and take him back to the events of family stuff. Okay. After Kratos kills his illusions, Ares comes to the blade, blades back and uses it to stab. He loses blo both of them then. You know what? I can't... I can't afford to get hit.
So, Ares took him back, stabbed Kratos with them, and then what? What? Hold on. Yeah, get the times too. And then the leader raid for eight hundred damage. Perfect. That's something. That's a good use of my time. Okay, now, number man, and I guess we'll go for the confusion? Stabbed his family with them, seen, seemingly keeping the blades, Crows uses a sword-like bridge from the early game as his weapon to finish the fight with Ares. So after he killed Ares, he just never decided to grab the weapons from him? Okay, wait, if I do this, it gets rid of a lot of chips. Sure. Ah, uh, uh, damn it, he jumped. Again, my question is, how would it be possible for him to get the, the Blades of Chaos back? What would an explanation be? If I tom... No, you know what? Let's not tomahawk. Ah, oh, dang it. I couldn't tell. And that fight was going pretty slow on the chips I was looking for. But using Cactaball... To get times two is a good choice. Good use of my time. Still not enough. Five times two this. That's 280. Let's just use this up. Bodyguard, I feel like, is going to be a big factor. Okay. We got a counter, but it wasn't needed. We got Number Soul. Let's use up Guardian. That's 200 damage. Come on. Yeah, I was expecting that. So we can go Chaos Lord. Or we could get rid of a lot of chips. You know what? Let's go Chaos Lord. Oh, it gets rid of Guardian! I didn't realize that. I guess I wouldn't have gone that route. Okay. Let's see. Dang. They kind of just disappeared. Ares technically owns those blades. I guess since Kratos became the god of war, he kind of owns the blades too. But he'd rather not use them because of trauma. Makes sense. In between the events of three and Norse games, in a comic, the blades just followed him? Even if he threw them away, buried them, or tried to destroy them, they wouldn't leave. That's... The weapons have uh, basically a will of their own, kind of like... Uh, what was it? Thor's weapon. Uh, what is it? Mjolnir? 
kind of looks in a similar fashion. But that didn't seem to be established in the Greek games. But I guess it could be possible that he just grabbed them off of Ares after killing him and just stowed them away. Like, that's entirely possible. Athena might have casted a curse on the blaze, so he can't forget what he's done to Greece. Okay. Possible. Hmm. Okay, we got two of these. But I don't have enough for this. Let's get rid of these three. Okay. Let's get rid of all this right here. And let's hope that the other two for bodyguards show up. Okay. Not bodyguard. However, we have something that can work. L -M -M. Program Advanced Cactus Dance 3. Yeah, I needed to hope for the counter tip for that to work. However... We have Chaos Lord, and that's enough. With a new record and the S rank, we are good. One down. One down, five to go. Four, and four more uh, SP chips. And now it's Shadow Man's turn. And I'm going to be honest, I think he's probably going to be the hardest one. <laughs> I think he might be the hardest one to do. Part of it is his counterattacks, which can be manipulated, but it has messed me up. Uh, and not only that, his Shadow Clones causes way more problems than you think. Also, uh, how much damage? 220? If I got a faster time, it would be better. End of the third game, Greece is completely destroyed. In the comic, it's established Kratos would like to forget his past completely, so the blades are a mental torture. Okay. One. The Greek gods are pretty petty in mythology, so it wouldn't be beyond Athena to do that. Yeah, I'm not that's not surprising, honestly. Guess by the events of four, he found a place to bury them. That's close enough to him so he won't randomly appear, but he also won't see them. Right. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, Shadow Man. Right now, we just need to go for the first KO. Let's start with using Shadow Man SP. Just before he summons his clones. Okay. What's next? This is not the best loadout. 
You got him confused. There's that. Number Soul. And we could try Aqua World just to get rid of something. And, ugh, oh, guy hit. You know what sucks? I got hit. But look. Program Advance Bodyguard. If I didn't get hit, this might have worked. And we got Leader Raid. Oh, I wasted my chip. It was right at the wrong time. Damn it. Never mind. Okay. Um. I guess we'll Tomahawk Soul. Rigged, I know. There we go. We got the one KO. I mean, I already had that. That's not a big deal. I'm going to use my full energy. I'm going to use a lock enemy. Let's swap this with... Well, air shoes is not going to help me. So... That's not going to work either. Is there a way I can make this work? I would have to get rid of... Charge max, I believe. No, wait, 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 wait. Get rid of speed max. Throw this over here. Custom two. That's something. I don't need extra mega chips. I don't need shield. Reflect. Actually, reflect or shield wouldn't be the worst idea. That way, I'm protect myself whenever he does the fire move. It is not the worst idea. But I'm not going for it. Air shoes is just not going to be useful. Look, stop. Um, rush B, Tango. I took out speed max. I might as well just do that. There we go. All right. Change that up a little bit. Let's make a save. Now for Shadow Man. We got to S rank him. Let's hang out over here. Because I want to be able to escape afterwards. Okay. We have two out of three ready to go. Let's just get rid of chips. Oh, come on. I missed both Scullies? Okay. Let's use this up. At this point, I don't care if I use them or not. Um, do I leader raid? Wait, hold on. Oh no, he already attacked. It won't counter. I'm probably not going to get a counter. Let's just leader raid. Yeah, just get 400 damage on him. I got hit. It has to be a no-hit run. Like, no other choice there. And I don't think there's going to be a way for me to get a times two on him. He's too fast. 
And he just kind of teleports everywhere. Okay. Let's try Scully and Fire Hit again. Number Soul. And... Get rid of the healing, I guess. Okay. So, um... We got a plus ten. We got Scully. Let's go with this. Get rid of some stuff. There's that. Get confused. Punched. L, M, and N. Program Advance Cactus Dance 3. Good. Oh! Okay, now it activated. Good, 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 good. Uh, what's next? Uh, Dark Number Soul. No. Yes. Chaos Lord. Only a plus 60, whatever. Invis. Alright. And we got him. However, is it fast enough? Thirty-four seconds. Nope. Too slow. Too slow. Try again. You lose. Good day, sir. Okay. Two out of three are set. Let's just get rid of a bunch of stuff. Cactus Dance works okay which, for Shadow Man. It's just getting that first hit on him is the tricky part. Gonna end this now. Okay. What's next? Number Soul. But we'll get rid of Guardian. There we go. That's something. Still nothing. Oh. Do I get rid of chips? Or do I deal big damage? Hmm. Um big damage big damage i guess and i can't escape this yep couldn't escape try it again god war 2 does the thing like something in the night uh, is where you get all the cool stuff at the beginning before losing it all. Oh no, it's a Metroidvania. You already have everything, and then death shows up, and he's just like, no. None of that. I'm taking these away. We're starting over from the beginning. Okay. Let's just get rid of a lot of stuff. Get him confused. Ooh. Managed to get the times two there somehow. Alright, what do we got? Big 
do that again. Punch him. Number Soul. Shadow Man. Or Dark Number Soul, I should say. We're gonna wait. go. He's by himself. There's that. What's next? Normal number soul. And, I don't know, we'll get rid of the Aqua Whirls, plus 30. Okay, good. And we'll end it with Chaos Lord. Oh my god! He was right there! He was about to attack me! Not good enough. Not fast enough. It's not good enough. Gotta get it under 30 seconds. I wonder if... I, sh I think I need to change my folder a bit. Hold on, let's look at... A lot of my codes are G-based. Let's look at G-codes. I think... I have four Scullies. I could throw in another Fire Hit. Spin Shake 1. Mini Bomb. Rainy Day. I don't know how good that is. Wide shot 2G. And we have one, but that's something. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna throw in another fire hit. I wanna get rid of stuff. What about my asterisks? Let's see, what do we got? I need to get rid of things. Air shots? Vulcan ones, spreader, thunder, mini bombs, sea seeds. Rock cubes, wind fans. Confuses the enemy. Take no damage. Mm, guards. Triple cracks. Crack out. Panel grab. Panel return. Get in. Slow gauge. Buster up. Holy panel. I only have one more invis. Okay, hold on. Let's throw in another invis. That's kind of nice. He does do a fire move. Let's throw in anti-fire. I have another anti-damage star. Let's get rid of recovery. I'm not supposed to get hit anyway. That should help me get through my folder a bit better. Okay, what do we got? And the other thing I could do if I want, I could swap these out with, like, M codes, so they're all the same code. So that, that, that. that. Number soul. Because right now I just need to get through the folder to get what I'm looking for. Invis? Okay. He's going for the attack. It's too late to set this up at the moment. Um, but let's do this, 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 this. Okay, anti fire is ready to go. Punch him in the face. Get invis going. That worked see what we got next. Um, okay, we could Chaos Lord. I could Shadow Man it. That's not gonna be that great, will it? Yeah. And you know what? I'm gonna set... 
I'm gonna use anti-damage. It's my safety net. Is just a safety net. Okay. Let's see. Chaos Lord? Again, Nebula Gray is a great design. One of my favorites for final bosses. Okay. Dark Toad Man. There we go. Is that enough? There we go. We got the record. Shadow Man SP. Which we already have, but it was more for the record. Now, how much damage? 55 per hit. That's that's 10 more points better than I had it. All right. Custom 2 was really good. But right now I want Sneak Run. You know what? We'll probably make it to where we use Custom 2 more than we do Air Shoes. Brothers. Fighting the final boss in the first game and he has a terrible time. Oh, really? Like, is it that hard? Is it that hard of a final boss? To be. Not yet. But yeah, if you're doing the base thing, you have to go over here. Oh, wait a minute. Did I ever buy everything from you? I did not. I did not buy everything from you. Okay, I have to keep this in mind. It's hard, but it makes it even harder if you don't learn his moveset here. Okay. So it's about attack patterns, and he's just not memorizing it, huh? He's not learning that every four times he moves, that's when he attacks. You know, it's that predictable, you know. Val Again, Battle Network kind of trained me to learn patterns. Like, oh, I notice he attacks every time he moves twice, or moves four times. Moves four times, then attacks. Okay, I could, pre I could prepare for that. Battle Network trained me to to recognize patterns like that. Grab that. Air Hockey Q. It's fine. Uh, we need to get to Scilab 4. He's probably not in a state of learning. He's just doing... Oh, uh, I get that. I really get that. Like, uh... It was... Like, look back when I was doing the level 1 Kingdom Hearts 1 stuff. Like, sometimes I'm just not learning. It's like, I just gotta do it. <laughs> that Sephiroth fight was probably a key one for it. He was beating the game faster than you Oh, no. Then as soon as he gets to the final boss, then all the time is going away. Six hundred Zenny. But yeah, after a while, yeah, even if you know the patterns, it's that it's now a skill issue. Yeah, and again, as an example, look back when I was doing the Kim Hearts 1 level 1 stuff. That Sephiroth fight, like, I learned the pattern, but more or less, it's just a matter of putting it all together. So after a while, it's not necessarily learning, it's about just get it done. Just do it. But then there were other cases like Mysterious Figure in that game where I couldn't figure out the pattern, looked up a strategy, and then once I looked up the strategy, it was like, okay, I know the strategy now, just kind of have to do it. And it didn't last that long after that. But yeah, I get the feeling. Where's Tomahawk Man? He's here somewhere. 
I could put jungle on him, but I would have to unequip some stuff, so no, I'm not gonna equip jungle. Synchron is good enough. Again, he's here somewhere. Tomahawk Man's here. He just doesn't want to fight because he's a coward. And that is so unlike Tomahawk Man to be a coward, but you know, that's just what he's going to be today. A coward. So yeah, Scilab 4, then we need to go to End Area 3 and 4, and then Undernet 3. How much money do I have? Not that much. But yeah, I'm debating on how much we get done today. I might use patch cards to get bug frags and zenny. But that's probably not going to be enough. Probably would have to do more of the grind, but it really depends on how much we get done. It really depends. Oh yeah, uh, the other day... I looked at my GBA file for this, for my kernel file, uh, and when I said that I was close, like, all I really needed to do was get, like, a couple program advances, I was not wrong, but because I forgot some of the details, uh, like, I still only had completed... I, I still only had the three symbols, are all dark chips, all standard chips to beat the game once. And I'm like, what? I thought I did more than this. But it's because one of the mega chips was tied to all program advances. And I was missing two of them. Specifically wide shot three. And it was the Shake Parade two and three. I was missing those uh, those three program advances. But because I was missing those three program advances... Uh, we'll do this. i get rid of that, too. Uh, I was missing the last Giga Chip, or the last Mega Chip. Okay, we have two of these. I can safely equip one. Let's use these up to get rid of stuff. But yeah, like, I needed one more mega chip. And that mega chip was from. Oh, I should equip anti wood instead. But then once I would get that, I would need to grind for bug fragments. And then I think I would need to fight a super boss. And then I would have 100%ed everything. Like, I was that close. Oh, I would love to save this, but I can't. Wait, hold on. Different strategy. Okay, I don't care if I get hit. Okay. And here it is. Program Advance Bodyguard. Seven hundred damage. He has super armor. I didn't realize he had super armor. Bodyguard isn't really gonna work well on him. I did not realize that. I even got the counter too. I was way off on time. Uh, I need... We're gonna have the code set up. Actually, it would actually be faster if we do this. Anti-wood. Swap that with anti-fire. That'll help fix things. that. Lock enemy. And save. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, custom two. There we go. Now we'll save. Now we'll save. The boss has a four hit combo and he forgets, so he gets hit by the final hit. Oh no. Keeps thinking it's a three hit combo. Sometimes in situations like that, I sometimes try to be like, okay, can I interrupt his combo? So I try, like, you dodge the first one, and then you see if you if you hit him in the middle of it, if it will break the combo or something. Like, I feel like I would try stuff like that. Okay. This is an okay start. The fact that he has super armor is going to make this a little bit harder. Let's let's just get rid of chips. This may be something like Chaos Lord would be better. Okay. Anti wood, 200 damage. We can use Leader Raid. Wait, 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 hold on. Program advance. Bodyguard. He may have super armor, but it can still deal a lot of damage. Unless he does this, sh unless that happens, and I got hit. I hate the invincibility, and it sucks. Is because I was already number man. It's hard to break that. I feel like. I feel like Tomahawk Man isn't going to take much more. Like, this ain't that bad. It's that stupid invincibility that really hurt, hurts me sometimes. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Number Soul. Let's use up... Fast Gage, Leader Raid, and in this. Okay, dude. Go ahead and attack me. Oh! Never mind. I didn't dodge it. Try it again. It has to be a no hit run. Normally, he goes for Tomahawk Swing, so I was kind of surprised. Let's try it again. Alright. Dark Toad Man. Wait. Okay, Dark Toad Man. Let's use this up. Let's get one in. That was close! both times that's fine let's go with number soul confuse him while I have the chance got hit by the meteor here's the thing apparently if you have super armor because you don't flinch you actually don't lose your ranking Apparently, it's about flinching, not necessarily about getting hit. So that is another strategy I could try. Oh, come on. It's not what I need. Come on. 
Okay, now Tomahawk Man is being a major coward right now. I even have him on lock enemy, and he's still somehow getting getting away. Like, how is he doing this? Come on, where is it? There we go. Let's try this again. Okay. Let's start with setting up anti-wood and get rid of a bunch of scullies. Anti-wood. Okay. That doesn't count as grass. Actually, that counts as fire, the meteor. That would... Do Ooh. That might be better. Okay, hold on. Double soul. Might as well set up invis and grab these. Is there an attack of his that does count as grass? Mm, that's two out of three. Let's... L, M, and N. Program advance. Cactus Stance 3. Okay. So... I gotta use... I gotta get rid of this. Okay, his Tomahawk Swing does count as a grass attack. But with Dark Toad, man, this should be enough. Three down, three to go. Let's put Sneak Run back in. Okay. We're going after Number Man, so honestly, just keeping this in here is just to fill out space. It's fine. Um, how much... How much damage does it do now? Tomahawk Swing now does 200 damage. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think that's it. Alright. Let's... Off to end area... Off to end area... Uh... Four. End area four, that's right. Oh, I mentioned this before, but apparently to get the crossover points, you have to, in Legacy Collection anyway, you have to use, uh, you have to just battle over, uh, you, you have to do net battles to get points. So I probably will not be doing that. Is not required, as far as I can tell. There's like two exclusive chips you could get that way, but it's technically not required. I I don't know. I probably won't be getting it. If I do get it, that's something that like I might have to like grind on my own time. You know what I mean? And I don't know, like, if I re if it really matters. And even then, there may be like two special chips you could get there. And but based on what I'm reading, I think it's kind of random on which ones you get. It's like it's basically a chip trader or a bug frag trader. But yeah, in Legacy Collection, you get those points by. Net battling. Apparently, it doesn't have to be a ranked match either, so that's nice. But it's still grinding. 
Uh, yeah, I just don't think I will. Let's see. Another green. By the way, uh, I, I pulled up a list. Apparently there's missable content and stuff for this game. And I was looking through the list. So, in the original GBA versions, on the English versions, they took out Gargoyle Comp 2 and Ship Comp 1. We don't have that problem in Legacy Collection because they used the Japanese versions as the base. But, because they took out those two versions, uh, or those two areas, some of the some of the chips that you can get in those areas were harder to get now, so you kind of have had to get them through those clouds in, during the Cloud Man scenario, like the Golden Clouds. But the main thing that apparently I have missed, and I didn't realize this was a problem, remember during the Cloud Man scenario how I just automatically had the vacuum program and I just immediately started using the vacuum to suck up the clouds? Apparently that's a glitch. Uh, so apparently... If you interact with the Ch Boktai crossover chip trader in Oron 2, and you decline to use crossover points, or in my case, you didn't have any, before obtaining the Vacuprog, apparently it becomes permanently missable because the story will just continue as if you already have it. But the item's not in my key items. <laughs> It's so weird. Like, I didn't know that would be a problem. But apparently you can get the Vacuum Prog by obtaining a, a chip from the Boktai Trader, which removes the ability to use the uh, Vacuum Prog. Then, without interacting with, again, go back to Area 1 and talk to Mr. Prog. But after you finish that whole scenario, you can't get it. It's weird. So that's why I just randomly had the vacuum <laughs> for no reason. And I was very confused. But yeah, it was very weird. All right, we're in the area for number man. Let's look for green mystery data while we're at it. And, oh no, we're fighting toad man. Oh, was it three that number man's at? Three and four? Okay. My bad. I need to I need to back out of an area. I guess we're going after Toad Man. By confusing Toad Man, the it seems like those shots are not targeting me. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can set this up like this. Guardian. No. There we go. If he's still confused... Nope, he's not. Okay. What's next? Chaos Lord? Fire and damage? Sure. Nah. At this point, we'll get rid of the Guardian. I'd rather just deal the 500. Okay. L, M, and N. He's not a frog, he's a toad. Clearly, you can't tell the difference between the two. Oh, God. Uh, okay. I just needed to get the one KO anyway, so... If we do this, we'll be good to go. And then we're gonna set up lock enemy. There we go. Leader raid. Number man's in area three. I thought it was in 
I thought it was four and five, not three and four. If I did not get hit, that would have been it. That would have been S-Rank. No, they'll try to eat anything. If this is on try, exactly. I guess I'll use my full energy. Just to use it up. Lock enemy. Alright. Let's get custom two back in. Alright. I oh wait, 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 wait. Anti electricity. Throw that in. We can also throw in an anti water if I wanted to. Like replace one of the long blades. I could do that. If that is an option. Let's just hang out up here. Because I skipped number man, apparently. Nope. Not that. I have that set up. Yeah, I do. Okay. We're, make we're actually making pretty good time. When I'm actually fighting them, anyway. You know, this type of folder is probably something I'm going to be keeping. And uh, hell, I might even swap out the... Some of the other ones. Okay, we have two of these. I can use some of them up. Could Dark Number Man this. Okay, hold on. Dark Number Man. I'm going to use one up. Okay, Dark Number Man. That's a lot of damage! Alright, and let's get anti-damage going. There we go. Okay, next. I need to save this. We'll go normal Number Man. I can have Leader Raid, or I can get him confused. Ah, dang it. Got hit. One idea is, like, when there's a bunch of water around, it might not be a bad idea to go to Tomahawk Man just to get rid of them. Because that's how Toad Man can sneak attack you. He'll just pop out from the water behind you. Alright, try this again. Number Soul. Get him confused. Scully. There we go. Not the best, but okay. Anti damage. And then I guess we'll set up Leader Raid. Good, he still gets hit, even if he's already under, uh, even if he's already under, like, invisibility frames, anti, anti-stuff works on him. Ah, oh, dang it! I should've caught that! I should've been staying on the water tile. Dang it. I didn't catch that. Nope, not this. I feel like we're very close with Number Man. Like, like Number Man's not that bad. So, I okay. Number Man. I mean, Toad Man. Damn it. Toad Man, we're getting close. Anti-Electric is probably your best friend. <laughs> wait, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just realize we have this. The 
anti-electric is your best friend against Toad Man. You can use anti-fire against Tomahawk Man. Uh, Nightman has nothing like that. I mean, anti-fire is okay on Shadow Man, but like, it's, no, it's not a must-have. Okay, we can Chaos Lord. Is that the best option? Is that something I want? Use this up. Wait, 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 wait. Normal number man. Chaos Lord. I still have my safety net. Both lily pads are close. Okay, now he's very limited on where he can move to. set this up. Ah, dang it. Completely missed. Okay, what's the plan? Okay. Scully? Now, I think I need to go into Tomahawk and get rid of these water tiles. I am not letting him be able to do anything. There we go. We got him. That works. We'll take it. How much damage is that? Toad Man, 120 damage to paralyze something. Could be better if I get a faster time, but I didn't. That frog has just been cooked. No ads, please. All right. Um, I think we're good here. I don't really need to change anything. We can keep anti-electric just to keep it, I guess. Just have something. Okay. End area three. Forgot number man's here, not in four. Oh yeah, I remember. I thought... I thought, uh... Cosmo Man was in 5. And Area 5, but he's in Undernet 4. Right. Okay, Number Man, where are ya? I know you're here. He's here somewhere. You can't hide from me. You'll never escape me, number man. Oh, green mystery data. You can't escape me, number man. I will always find you. And any minute now. Any minute now, Number Man's gonna show up. Right? He's gonna be here. Yeah. After this, we got Colonel, and then we can move on. Now I'm gaslighting myself. Is Number Man actually in Area 3? I thought he was in 4, but apparently not. Now I'm gaslighting myself. Is he here? I mean, it took a long time for Tomahawk Man to show up, so...
Come on. He's here somewhere. So yeah, Number Man, we can't hit him with any of the elemental anti-stuff. I don't think he has anything. Colonel, I don't think does either. I don't think his cannon, when it hits the back row, counts as a fire attack. There we go. There he is. Let's use some stuff. I gotta be careful. Number Trap could actually use Area Grab. Okay. Let's use this up. I missed. Okay. I guess we'll use both of these up. Actually, well, I'm using two. Let's just use these. As well, use invis. He finally beat the game. Good for him. How long did it take him? Ooh. L, M, and N. Program Advance Cactus Dance 3. And he's trapped. He's trapped. He can't escape. Oh, and this is just mean. This is mean. Watch this. Program Advance, Bodyguard. Dark Number Man. Bodyguard for 120 per hits. Look at that. That was a close fight. But we got the S rank. That's all that matters. Apparently he does... It's a 40 base damage, but depending on the die block, it, it can do more than that. Alright. That's done. No lock enemy needed. I did say I would hunt him down. I did say that. Alright. Off to Undernet 3... And to fight Colonel for real this time. Now I have an extra lock enemy to spare. That's nice. Area 5. Green Mystery Dow, what did we get? But yeah, one more mega chip to go. We're almost done. Again, my GBA file is this close to, but it's like it's the three program advances that I need on that GBA file. And we saw, you saw how much I struggled with wide shot 3 and the two uh well, really the one uh shake parade one I was missing. So, yeah, I understand why I didn't actually complete it. But, like, doing that would get me the last Mega Chip, would help me get one of the two Giga Chips I need. Then I would have had to go and grind for Bug Frags for the last for uh, Bug Charge. And then, like, one extra fight, and that would have been it. I was that close with Team Colonel. Took him about an hour to beat the final boss. Jeez. And that fight probably normally... I'm, I'm guessing probably only takes like a few minutes. On a normal run. Oh, that set the bug back trader, basically. How much do I have? Okay. You know, let's visit the bug frag, uh, the bug frag trader. There's 
that. Some extra zenny. Grab you. Grab the HP plus 300. Now I need 90 bug frags to get the last... Let's be honest, the last one I actually want to get. Everything else is chips that I kind of already have. So... But that's the only way to get Giga Folder plus one, so might as well grind for it at some point. Okay, up here, and here we are, under net three. Now to hunt for Colonel. Let's see. Uh, no ads, please. No, just blatant ads, please. You guys already have to deal with that whenever Twitch decides to do ads. I don't need don't need ads popping in chat. And I still need to buy that, too. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw. Right now, you're not missing much anyway. Speaking of which, there's Colonel. Give it a sec. So, I think the best idea would be to get my safety net, confuse him, hit him with this. It's probably the plan. All right, let's try it. Do I Colonel Soul? That would help me get rid of another chip. But this is 200 damage. You know what? Getting rid of another chip might be a better idea. Um. Let's see. I got the counter. We could use Leader Raid. I think if we do this right. Plus 60. There we go, that's something. Oh, he just kept going after that, okay. Um, I should, hold on. Normal number soul. Invis. Boost this up. Okay. What's next? Still don't have bodyguard, but I do have. Program Advance. Cact Cactus Dance 3. He's trapped. He's done. Program Advance, Bodyguard. And with Invis... We're done. <laughs> That's it. That is all the mega chips. Look at that. We're gonna. Didn't need a lock enemy. Easy. Easy. Look at that. Mega chip complete. Something I wasn't even able to do on my other. Well, on my GBA file. Granted, the one I am missing is double point. But <laughs> anyway.
Now with that, now that that's done, let's go and head off to Nebula Six. Who needs lock enemies? I have two more. That's that's exactly how much I would want it anyway. All right. Let's keep going. I don't know if I need to leave the net and come back in. However, we're off to Undernet 6. We're making good time. So, we're getting pretty, pretty close. Let's see. Oh, can I make this work? Not... No, not really. Likes to beat a game in a series and then move on to the next. This time he's not. There is such a fire hat. He's gonna play easier game. COD Code War. Oh, so normally... When he gets into a series, basically just goes and plays through the whole thing. Like, normally, he would move on to God of War 2, right? That's what you mean? You know, I used to do... I used to do a lot of stuff like that. I used to play a lot of games more that way. Because I, uh, when I get in the mood, I play them. But I found when I do that, I was burning myself out. And the later games I got to, I'm just either really needing to go into the next one, because I, oh, that's on me. Because I thought, oh, it's I just got to move on. It's the it's almost like a schedule sort of thing, right? What am I doing? I already destroyed the three mystery data. That's why I've been putting games in between, like. Just a different franchise in between to avoid burnout. I noticed that happens a lot when I try to do stuff like all six Battle Network games back to back to back. I would easily hit burnout. Hell. It also doesn't help that I tend to go for 100% a lot. So that adds to it. It really does. And that that is part of it. So, like, and, but you even notice after, like, I was done with Battle Network 4, I just really needed a break. I could, ar I was already feeling the burnout with Battle Network 4. That game is a slog sometimes. But, yeah, like, I know there was, like, a few years ago where I got into, like, a Kingdom Hearts marathon, marathon right? And I think I was, like, it was when, I, uh, to prep for Kingdom Hearts 3. And I think near the end of it, I was just getting very burnt out sort of thing. Well, that's kind of why I just kind of stopped doing that. Put some games in between. Break it up. Stop playing Pokemon. I don't know how much, much longer, but the games have been boring to me. Uh, where'd you stop? What game did you stop at? And if you haven't, try out Pokey Rogue on the browser. It's, it is actually kind of fun. Actually, can I do this? Uh, kind of. Maybe, hold on. Like, I still like Pokemon, but I didn't... There's a lot of things I don't like with what's going on with the 
what's going on with them. But, like, I'll still play Pokemon, I'll still play the older games. I'm still kind of a sucker for some of the newer stuff. Like, I want, I really hope Legends is good. Because I'll probably dip into that one. I'll probably dip my toe in Emerald, uh, in Legends. Like, everything else, though, for me, unless it's like a spinoff. It's almost like I need to be hesitant. Emerald. Technically, you played that during being bored of Pokemon since it took you a month to beat it, but watching it's, it's no hit run of the game made me want to play it, so I did. Emerald is, Emerald is good. I think the, the series peaked with Gen 5. Like, the games were just getting better and better as it went on. And it peaked with Gen 5. Black and White 2 is still top tier. But then, the swap to 3D. I don't know if that's necessarily the cause, but ever since Gen 6, it's been going, it was going downhill. It started going downhill. Gen 6 was the start of it. And after a while, it was more of, like, just more and more problem, uh, more and more problems over time that were just showing up. And being have really noticeable. I should have told him I was sold. And after a while, it was, it's just become a... Like, straw that blo broke the camel's back sort of situation after a while. But no, Emerald's still good. Platinum's pretty good. Uh, let's see. I said Platinum. Heartgold Soul Silver still good. Black and Light 1 and 2. Really great games. But lately, other than Legends... And even then, I still have my issues with it. Uh, or slash worries. Uh, I, I feel like I'm more excited for Pokemon spinoffs than I am with the mainline stuff. With our... So that was all Mega Chips. We get Omega Rocket. Our, one of our Giga Chips. And look, it's a reference to Battle Network 3. Or his rocket move. I don't... It, it's probably single target, but it's like, hits everything, I don't know. Could be pretty good. Chaos Lore is still probably better. So... There are two more... Giga Chips. Also, I just realized I still have Sneak Run equipped, but it's not doing anything. I need to swap back to like Fort Chew or something. I'm gonna play Gen 4 games, I'm gonna play Crystal. So I gotta do Harkles to Silver. You play through Platinum, so that's one thing. At least you play through Platinum and not Diamond and Pearl. Or even if you did, you eventually play through Platinum. Platinum's really good. But even even though Platinum is really good, I'm not the biggest fan of Sinnoh. I'm just not. Okay. It was worth getting Omega Rocket. But yeah, Harko and Soul Silver is really good. But if you ever get a chance to play, play Gen 5. If you ever get that chance. Yeah, I would say I'm more excited. You know, I was saying I'm more excited for Pokemon spinoffs, but I'm going to be honest, they haven't really been doing many Pokemon spinoff stuff. Because mostly they're just doing the mobile game stuff. And that's not really the type of spinoffs I typically look for. You didn't bother searching for legendaries in Platinum? Um, They didn't really add too many more legendaries, to be fair. I think they let you catch the Kanto birds in the wild because they're roaming legendaries 
but I think that was all that was added for Platinum. When it comes to Legendaries, I think everything that was available in Diamond and Pearl is still the same. I think that's how it was. Park Gold and Soul Silver, on the other hand, uh, there's a lot there. No, that's the hidden pathway to where you fought base. Okay, this way. Yeah, no, um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver has a way bigger post game. There's a lot to do in, in that game. I think in Harko and Soul Silver, obviously split between the two of them, you could get every legendary that came before. So yeah. All right, we finally made it back to Nebula Six. A voice speaks out of nowhere. Power's been shown again. S rank them. My flames reflect the darkness in your soul. Your powerful soul that crushes all. It stirs my flames. Tomahawk Man. Dark Soul. So let's see. Let's try this. I think for right now, we just need to beat the Dark Soul stuff. I don't think we need to worry about time. I think we just need to beat them. Program of... Wait, did I not set it up right? Oh, I did not set it up right. That's my B. Dang it. I had a good setup, and I'm just like... And I fumbled it. Dang it. L M N. Dang it. That's on me. I had bodyguard. Okay, times two. Hey, look. Times two. Chaos Lord. <laughs> One thousand damage. Yeah, I, I'm the flame of darkness. I'll burn bright again when you depart the cyber world. At least I actually tell you that. My flame reflects the darkness in your soul. Your wise soul that has all the answers. It stirs my flames. You would have survived? Yeah, probably. I guess. The power of the corn dog, I guess, does that to, to you. All right. Uh, let's do this. Good, we got the confusion. Dang it! Again, they kind of cheat. They, they're allowed to use chips that I'm not prepared for. Alright. Invis... Do this, so let's get rid of that. We get out of here. Being physical and also a part of it. Right, right. Fusion? Nope. Okay. Chaos Lord. Yeah, we'll Chaos Lord. Wait. No, it would still do that. That's cheating! Just takes me out with Shadow Man, are you kidding me? Oh, we're at the Tomahawk, Tomahawk Man part. Oops. Yeah, they cheat. They use my strategies against them. Against me. They just straight up cheat. Fine, whatever. Like, 
I can't believe you done this. L M N. Program advance. Active ball three. Cactus Dance 3. Okay. Then we did so much. Let's go with Leader Raid. Again, I don't think we need to worry about time. We just need to worry about beating them. Dark Toad Man. This ain't that great. All right, off to number man. I better save. Yeah, I better make sure to save the entire time. Okay, you know what? I need to get, I need to get slight healing. The one HP run, kind of at this point. No. Oh, he ran into it. What an idiot. He's using roll. It's a multi-hit move. I'm like, oh, 20 damage. That's a... Oh, it's multi-hit. I'm out of full energies. I could get myself 100 extra HP. <laughs> this is so dumb. You know what sucks? I got rid of the recovery 300. My only way to heal is through Tomahawk Man right now. That's, uh, that's kind of bad. Actually, let's here. Least rig rigged moment? I guess so. I think I need the the slight he healing, you know. I need the very slight healing. Let's just hope. Let's just hope he doesn't use a multi-hit move on me. Okay. I can at least do this. Stop. Chaos Lord. Oh. <laughs> if he did not time stop, I would have gotten hit by that. But because he time stopped, I heard the sound effect of fire hit, so I knew to get out of there. <laughs> I, yep. <laughs> okay. Plus one bolt three. Alright. Your healing soul that soothes all. It stirs my flames. Too easy six HP run. Yeah. Okay. Toad man. Let's just get rid of some chips. Luckily, confusing him right away. Very good. Gonna get anti electric. Perfect. Alright. What's next? Number soul. Let's get rid of. Let's confuse him again. Or, you know, he just cheats. And I ran into that. 
Okay, I ran into that one. That's on me. Number soul. Set up anti. Set up. There we go. Let's try this. Fusion, get the anti electric. There's that. We got hit again. Okay. L, M, and N. Program advance. Cactus Dance 3. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. Yeah, let's go with this. In this confusion. There's that. And, well, I think I got this. Anti damage. And fire hit. Six HP run. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go here. This should be Shadow Man. Your piercing soul that sees through all it stirs my flames. Did I not save? Oh, uh, well, let's see if we make this work. Okay. Let's get the confusion going. Let's see. I, I feel like Shadow Man is going to be probably the hardest one. You did, but I got the stream delay. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, he used his own invis. Okay. Be that way. Should have probably put in anti-fire. But... Do I want... Yeah, we'll... Do this. Let's get some more healing in. Oh, right, Dark Invis. Okay. I am going to use my own Invis. And we're going to go with Leader Raid. How dare he use your spells against me? <laughs> he's, he's using my own tactics against me. Hit him with anything. Could go for Shadow Man. But I think Fire Hit may be the best option. Yay! <laughs> I did it! I beat him first try. 30 HP, let's go. Flames of my flames reflect the darkness in your soul. Your trustworthy soul that protects your friends. It stirs my flames. Okay, Nightman. Um, I think the strategy right now would be Dark Toad Man. Get rid of it. No. Dark Number Man. No. Normal Number Man. I'm. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna use up some of these sword chips. Get him out of here. He's not going to be jumping anytime soon. Right? Oh no, he will just move around. What is this? Okay. Different strategy? Not what I was expecting. Okay. I wasn't fully expecting him to move. 
but he can. Let's try that again. Okay. I guess we'll try Dark Toad Man. Get a good 300 damage on him. Or try to, anyway. Alright, that did not work. Not as planned. Get some of my tiles back. Bodyguard. However, it's only going to do so much. We're going to advance. Actually, I could have used my, one of my plus tens on it. Let's see. See, I only... It didn't do that much. So I need to go a different route. I had a feeling that, you know, that strategy wasn't going to work anyway, but, you know, what do you do? Shadow Man? That helps. Chaos Lord. Yeah, I don't care that you're moving around. I'm hitting you. Get dunked. Honestly, Nightmare might be more difficult than you think. Super armor and... Super armor... No flinching. Uh, he has invincibility a lot of the time. And sometimes he can just randomly move. My flames reflect the darkness in your soul. Your masterful soul that commands all. It stirs my flames. Colonel. Let's see. We can start with Dark Toad Man. Get rid of these chips. This. Okay. He could just randomly heal. Thanks, game. Okay. I love it. Um. Do I want to heal? No. Number soul. We'll number soul it. Get rid of more chips. Of course! Why wouldn't you be able to do that? And of course he uses his own invis on me. Um, set up my safety net. Let's confuse him. Got your own anti. Did we both use an anti damage? We did. That was dumb. Okay, be that way, game. Well, uh, I guess. I have a free shot with Scully. Dark number man. Wait, hold on. I almost messed that up. Program advance. Bodyguard. Dark n dark number man. 
And here we go. Well, that's going. So here, we have many options. We have Cactus Dance. We have Chaos Lord. We had Leader Raid. You know, they were, he wasn't getting out of this. Okay. Now that we've defeated all six... We need to go over here. I really need a heal. <laughs> Please be an easy fight. You know what? Um, is there a way I could... Come on. Maybe I can... I'm, I'm ignoring the green mystery data. Maybe I can get rid of the one in the back, the Metar. Never mind. If I can get into an easy fight, I can swap over to Tomahawk and sit there and heal. Unless I get him. Never mind. Oh, it's the same fight again. Um, hmm. It's the best idea. Uh, um, Theater Raid. Yeah, Theater Raid. I'm not sure... I, I, I don't forget. Can it go past the green mystery data? Yeah. Let's have my safety net. Just in case I need an extra safe. Well, if I need an extra safety net, then I've got the kill. Where is it? Where's Tomahawk? That was on me. I'll keep it. That works too. Alright. We defeat all six. The voice speaks out of nowhere. Power's been shown. The dark power's coming from here. Keep your eyes open. Gotcha. Yikes! What is it, Mega Man? Something's coming from our... Uh, something's... Something's coming... R of the Vortex. Some probably uh, that's obviously a typo out of the vortex. I can see R and T are right next to each other. I can see how you might mess that up. Grrr, I am the Chaos Lord. I have come to rule this chaotic world. His dark powers is incredibly strong. Here he comes, Lan. Nebula Gray. Again. No mercy for the pure of heart. Here it comes, Lan. Okay, power routine set. Execute. Nebula Gray, or Chaos Lord, but it's in the form of Nebula Gray. And I'll... Just normal boss music. You know. Uh... Yes, let's just... Yeah, let's just start with this. Okay, first. Fast gauge. This is basically Nebula Gray Alpha. Actually, does that count as fire? That might count as fire. 
Well, I managed to get two. Uh, I managed to get two in. Let's see. Let's go with this. Okay, that works out fine. This is where I would wish I had uh, air shoes. Okay. Let's try that again. Maybe I will throw in air shoes. Maybe that would be useful. Then custom two. I mean, custom two is great, but I need to be able to move around. And then I had speed max. There we go. Alright, let's try that. And it sucks I'm not at full HP, too. I gotta do this with basically half health. Well, not even half health. Alright, let's try it again. Okay, now I have a better shot. Um, I could try using the Guardian. I could maybe make it work. Come on. Oh, he was off screen. It didn't count. That sucks. Honestly, now that I think about it, Cactus Dance Pro... Well, actually, Cactus Dance might be okay. Cactus Dance might actually be okay. I'll save for it. We'll try it. If it, it has to land on it, though. Or land in front. Well, we get to test it out. Let's see how it works. Oh, it still lands! It's weird. Okay. It's not traditional solid ground. Um... Chaos Lord. Anti-damage for a safety net. Okay. No, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna use Shadow Man. Shadow Man may not be that strong. Okay. Let's use up this stuff. Okay. Oh, good. He did that to himself. Okay, I missed there. Uh, number Soul. Invis. And Scully. Okay, Scully. I don't think getting him confused is actually going to do anything, but it's da damage is damage. Alright. Okay. Uh, we got this. Program advance. Bodyguard. Let's wait a second. Okay. Just in case this becomes a problem. There 
go. Oh, I have come to rule this world of chaos. I shall endure as long as there is dark power. Easy, pretty much. It helps that to have air shoes. It does help. That was some power. One gigantic evil reaction has faded. Who's there? A great evil still lurks on this planet. You must fight until evil is vanquished. A battle chip? It's... Meteor Knuckle. Evil will again return one day. The only way to defeat it is to keep fighting. Who the... I am the one who conquers evil. I am always watching. Farewell. Hey, wait! It, it's gone. The one who conquers evil? Who's that? Don't sweat it. It's just one of those things. Let's head home. We still have a lot of things to do. He's not wrong. You're right. Molly, stop. 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 Yes, I know. You're so needy. I you know how land loses, but he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna use it next ne game. Pretty much. But we got Meteor Knuckle. We have the power of Duo's Fist. And he likes to go the Aura Aura, like in Jotaro. Just punch multiple times. <laughs> it, It's okay. It's technically a multi-hit move, but it's random. It's kind of like the boxer program advance. If you're playing Team Proto Man, you get Big Hook, Big Hook, and that's probably a better one, honestly. I like how after Duo shows up, uh, we just get a we we just get access to him to use him at any point. He he's just kind of here to stay now. So now, uh, now we leave. Molly, come on, come on. Up. Okay, whatever. So. We need one more Giga Chip. And we need the rest of the HP. And some extra bug fragments. We are actually very close. Let's try to get... Actually, let's just see if we can get this done today. But with that in mind, since I'm going to try to rush it for today, I'm going to use the patch cards to get all the Zenny and Bug Fragments. To speed some of this up. Normally, I probably wouldn't actually go for this, but since there is a chance we can actually get this done today, let's just go for it. And if you're not using the Legacy Collection slash don't have patch cards, you know the grinding. Under net one. You know. Okay. This is just saving time at this point. Only using the ones that give me Zenny and Bug Fragments. I don't need that. Full energy any okay and all of those one of each sub chip zenny you gotta dip for a sec yeah it's all good we're gonna do a little bit of grinding get some get the hp memories get the last bug fragments that i need and then yeah so it's a little bit of grinding for a second. Yeah. 6,000 Zenny. Okay. That's Fast Gauge Star. More Zenny. They give you a lot of Zenny. Nope. Unlockers. Shadow... Yeah, that's the kind of shot. 
Here's some more Zenny. Kinda wish there were a few more that gave you bug frags, but okay, whatever. 300 Zenny. Poor Shuko. She's trying. She's trying. Okay, Colonel. Okay, that's it. How much did I get out of that? That's a lot of Zenny. Let's go to... I have, I have 46 bug frags. I need to get to 90 at the very minimum. First, there's a program dealer in Undernet 3. Let's go to that. I'm putting Sneak Run back in. And you know what I'll probably end up doing? I will want to buy maybe two full energies to have on me. That's probably a good idea. And I already have two lock enemies, so... Yeah, I don't think I need to buy more other than to restock on one whenever I... When I do the actual grinding. Because we bought all the programs from the Bug Frack Trader in Scilab 3. So that's done. Uh, one. Getting a little confused. Right up here. There we go. There's that. That's done. Still have a lot of money left over. Let's buy two full energies, because I'm going to need it. I think one extra untrap would be okay. I don't think I need a full six. Uh, I don't know where I could buy full energies. Can I buy them from you? I think two will be fine. I think two will all be all that I need. Alright. So let's go and... Check the program dealer in Undernet 3. Make our way to... Oh, we got the program dealer in Undernet 3. We also got the HP memories to get. I think we can safely close the nebula door. I think we can safely do that. Set up on trap. We're gonna, we're gonna be here for a little bit. Because we're gonna be doing some grinding. So, one thing I'm going to mention about uh, uh, Nebula 6. So, now you can go back and you could do the whole fight the dark forms of your six teammates and fight Chaos Lord again. You can do that. Chaos Lord can be a different fight depending on how fast you defeat the your six teammates. If you get a very slow time, like the worst you could possibly get, you'll just fight the you'll just fight the same fight, the Nebula Gray fight. If you get a average time, I think I read it was like between two minutes and three and a three and a half minutes, something like that. A combined total of busting time for the six navvies. Uh, you'll get a fight with base. But if you get under two minutes, if I remember correctly, it's under two minutes, you fight Dark Mega Man. So there are three different fights, but if I'm correct, there's no... You don't need to do any of them. 
Okay. We bought all of the HP memories from here. The only ones left are in uh, Nebula Area 2 Net Dealer. What am I doing? Not that. Uh, calculator. Alright. 20... I'm pulling up the, I'm pulling up the calculator plus six zero 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 thirty four zero 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 chat to get the rest of the HP memories which are all from the nebula dealer into area two and I have if I'm correct, I have not bought a single one from him. We need 130,000 zenny in total to buy all four. We're going to be here for a while. That's the sword R. And we still need 90 bug fragments. I hope you're ready for the grind, because it's going to be a while. Here's the thing. Even if I were to stop stream to now, and then even start the grind tomorrow and do another stream, do the grind, and then uh, do the final fights, that still might not take that long, so I don't know. Kind of just want to gun it. Okay. Oh, duh. I should, I should take out that. I could put it back to custom 2. That's probably the better loadout. I have something else. It was the speed. No. Yeah, it was speed. Okay. Yep. We're gonna be here for a little while. I was about to reset, but no, not yet. Not there yet. And here's the thing. For best results, we need to use Lock Enemy. And that's not guaranteed. Which, like, we have to... We basically have to spend money to make money. Come on. So, like, we need to be able to make... Uh, what was it? We need to make... We need to get two Zenny rewards from the fights. Just to break even. Okay. Actually, I just thought of something. Does millions work for in-battle green mystery data? Or is it only the overworld ones? Because if it works for in battle green mystery data, then maybe I could equip that. And that'll be better than like the customs. It doesn't matter what the order is. Actually, we got rid of the one I would have wanted to. Bug fragments? Okay. Lock enemy. So 
So to break even on Zenny, we need two more rewards. And then to make profit, we need more Zenny after that. And yet I still also need bug fragments. I am checking... Uh, millions. I want to know specifically how it works. Character Battle Network 2, not who I'm talking about. We got some Zenny. Corn, uh, user found a way to grind Zenny. Favorite fast Battle Network 5. End Area 5 Liberation Mission. Liberating the first item panel, which will re reward in 1,800 Zenny. And then you just quit and reset. I mean, I guess. Maybe that will be the better route, but I also need Bug Fragments, so I need to do this at least for a little bit. If I get all the Bug Fragments, maybe we'll swap to that route if it's faster. Oh, dang it, that's not... I meant to actually go into Tomahawk. Green Mystery Deus will always give Zenny, but I don't know if that means in battle ones, too. That's the only one I got. That's the only information I got from here. Let's see. Yay, more Zenny. Again, 130,000 Zenny. Ugh. I'm gonna be here for a bit. Okay, yeah, we could we could do this fight. Someone's talking about the 1,800 Zenny in End Area 5 Liberation Mission. It's like, that is consistent, but it's also a very small amount of Zenny for what I need. But it is a consistent route. Uh, I'm not gonna make spot. Can we get one more fight in? Yes, one more. We can get one more. The problem is I'm not really getting actual details on how the Navi Customizer works in depth. So it might be one of those things where we just need to try it out. And that, that's fine. Someone's suggesting basically what I'm doing now, so it's like, uh, I don't know. 
Uh, just take your pick. Nope. Don't want that. See how much we could get done. Lock enemy expired, but we know we could get into one more fight. I want to be able to do that. It just sucks that lock, lock enemy costs so much. It's a very spendy sub chip. Although it is cheaper than four, we don't need Sanctuary. Yeah, 56 Bug Fragments. Once I get 90, I'll swap millions in, and we'll keep doing this and see if I constantly just get Zenny from in Battle Green Mystery Data. If we don't, then I can just swap back. It's not a big deal. But if we do, that will be consistent. But I think it's really meant for the overworld green mystery data. But this is a faster method, so I don't know. enemy expired. Let's buy one lock enemy. Use it up. See, we've made profit. We've made a profit. Ugh, okay. Why do we need so much? And you know what sucks? This might be a case where the money cap might not go into the hundred thousands. It might just go into... Actually, no, I'm pretty sure it could go into the hundred thousands. There's enough space for it. Yeah, okay, maybe maybe not. Never mind. I was thinking maybe the cap is 99,999. So I would have to go into Nebula. Did I win? I mean, we're doing the grind, so... I don't know. Is that really a win? Oh, damn. Like, look, I... I got... I used the patch cards. Okay, good, I did use it. I used the patch cards, right? To get as many Zenny and... Bug Frags that I could. Just to speed this up. Because we could maybe get this done today. But I did the math, and uh, all the HP memories to get the rest of them, we need 130,000 zenny. That's a lot. And one, we don't get green mystery data all the time. And two, we have to occasionally buy a lock enemy to keep this going. We're here for a while. We'll see how much we could get done. That's kind of the that's kind of where we're at right now. Yeah, we're doing the grind. So, sit back, relax. Get some get a get yourself a drink, get yourself something to eat. Play a game or something. I don't know cuz this is just what it is. 
This is the grind that we're all here for. This is the Battle Network 5 experience. But we are very close to being done. We are very close. Play some Overwatch. Good. All good. It's just the grind anyway. We need two more symbols on the front. We could technically get them both right now, but I still need the HP memories. Just to fully count for 100% in my eyes. There we go. Finally, a green mystery data. What do we get? Fuck fragments. And what I'm gonna try to do once we get the 90 bug fragments, if, uh, you know, when I get the 90 bug fragments, I'm gonna try to swap in millions, the program, uh, the program, and we're gonna see if the green mystery data in battle will be consistent and constantly give me Zenny. If it does, we'll continue with the strategy and it won't go that, it won't be as long as you'd think. If it doesn't, We'll see. But I'm not gonna swap to that until I get the 90 bug frags. Speaking of Zenny. We're gonna be here for a while. I can't think of what else to do in Battle Network 5 now. Like, gather more bug, fla bug frags to clear out the two shops. Oh, I didn't mean to grab two skulls. Oh well. More Zenny to buy everything, but I need them for HP memories anyway. The only other thing I could think of is multiplayer, but I don't know if I could consistently get that going to try to get some crossover points. But even then, I kind of said I don't know if I'm going to get that. Not much going on. Depending on how long this is going to take, I have a feeling this might be a one more stream sort of scenario where we do the rest of the grinding next time. And then after the grinding's done, we just get this done and just finish Battle Network 5. This might be a one more stream thing. really depends on millions, I think. Like, that's how close we are. some profit I think that's enough to buy that is enough to buy a single uh, HP memory but not anymore I had to lock enemy I had to buy the lock enemy Not you. So yeah, 
I was playing Poke Rogue on my own time, and uh, I now have another shiny now. It's, uh, I found a shiny gloom. So now I have the option for Vile Plume and Blossom, depending on the, the luck I get. And because I've been lowering the starting cost of Spiro and I have an Indeedy, a shiny Indeedy, I can now start getting more onto the starting team, which means more shinies. It's kind of a weird spot because with Spiro, all I can really do is grind for more candy to lower the cost one more time, which that's like 60 candy. But I could spend that time to grind out candy for some of the other ones I have. Whether it's to lower the cost or to get their passive to make them better. But it's like, Spiro's so good, I want to keep using it, but I need to work on the others. You know? It's too bad. In DD, like, all I can really do is lower the cost. Because I could get the passive, but apparently it's not actually working yet. And synchronized, which sucks, because that would be very useful to have. But apparently that one's not working. So, as of now, anyway. So I'm like, yeah, why get the passive if it's not going to even work? Not only that, I actually have a few legendaries now that I can probably use, maybe. I have, like, four? Yeah, I have, like, four. It's, like, Manaphy, Registeel, Metaletta, and... Oh, what was the last one? It's, like, the Ice Horse that's in Gen 8. I have not played the DLC, so I don't remember his name. But I have those, those four. And there's a part of me that wants to throw them on the team, but it's like, if I do, I won't be able to have m many other members. So it's very limited, limited to work with. But then I can use them, get more candy for them, lower the cost, get the passive, you know, all that sort of thing. Yeah, honestly, Pokey Rogue for me is just kind of... I need to chill out when I play it. Because it's easily a time killer for me. Like, I'll be like, oh, I'll do a single run of it. And then it lasts the entire day. And then I get nothing done. So sometimes I just be like, no, I'm not playing it today. I will get nothing done if I do. Like, I, I booted Samurai Warriors back up, and I was going to work on Kunoichi, but, like, been distracted with basically Poke Rogue as well as other things that I haven't attempted to get her sixth weapon yet. I've really just been basically leveling her up just to get her a little bit stronger. I don't even know how to even get her level six. I haven't looked it up yet. Not much going on over on that. Yeah. Still at sixty two bug frags. One Scully, one Fire Hit. Like that 65 Bug Fragments. Try Guardian. 
probably you get a little bit. Nope, he attacked right away. Got all three. Yay, profit. Oh, he said, yeah, I think we've made profit. Or that we tied, I, I don't remember, either way. Let's try it again. What do we have? We've gotten bug fragments. 68. That's almost a funny number. It's not gonna make it. That's too bad. Nope, not not this one. Isn't this fun, chat? This is fun, isn't it? anti-damage. Alright, we got... Fire hit. There we go. Best part of the game is when they have an achievement that almost sucks the joy out of the game. Right. Right. Oh, I have to collect everything for this achievement, but getting everything means... Suffering through money grinding. How fun. It's always the last one that you need is always the worst. Actually, I think I, I think I broke even on lock enemies. Seventy one bug fragments. Twenty more to go. To break to get all I need. But what achievement do you have in mind? And gun soul, don't need that. For me, like, one that came in mind was when we were doing Dragon Quest 2. And it was the slot machine one. That was three hours, if you don't remember. That was three hours just wasted on slots. Some Zenny. At least when we do win some of these fights, we are getting some Zenny sometimes. So we are slowly making a profit here and there. Nope. I wonder what actually is faster to get Zenny. The consistent 1,800 in Liberation 5? Just retreat and go back in? Or dealing with the RNG by getting 3,000 Zenny from a green mystery data. I actually don't. Pardon me, curious. After all that, there had to be a fire hit. Like fragments? 
74. No matter what happens, like, I'm just gonna have to grab something else. I have to wait for a new chip. There we, there we go. What do we get? Bug fragments. Perfect. 77 bug fragments. I think we need like four more bug fragment rewards to get all that I need. Alright, time to wait it out for a fire hit. Or leader raid. Fragments. Four, no, four more bug fragment rewards to get. We'll be at 91. Fragments, very nice. All right, eighty-three. Okay. Okay. What do we get? Gun soul, don't need that. That can get out of here. Lock enemy expired? Okay. We could get one more fight in before that expires again. More bug fragments. 86. And sadly, I think we didn't get enough lock enemies, so I think we went down. I think we went down in uh, money. We did not make a profit. Normally, in this scenario, I would probably reset to try to get, like, try to guarantee to hit, make even on Zenny. But, ugh. That's still a... Th That's a 5 out of 8 shot to reset sort of thing. It's only 3 out of... 3 out of 8 chance at Zenny. Zenny. Still need two more bug frag rewards.
Almost there. Okay, we're at 89 bug fragments. One more set, and we'll test out millions. Let's see. Nope. Actually, make this work. Your raid. There we go. Where's any? Take that. At least we made back the money so far. Or lock enemy. Alright. Fast gauge. Uh, Shadow Man. I don't have another way to hit him. Sold, don't need. Don't need that. Oh, yeah, I have now, I think, done more in this file than I have in my GBA file. Actually, no, yeah, I, I think I've now done more when I really think about it. Eventually, when I look at my Battle Network 6 file, when we get there, I'm curious on how much more I would need to do. <laughs> and hell, even on the, my GBA file, I still need to money grind. Because I still don't have all the HP memories, either. I was in the 800s. I probably need to buy the rest, for all I know. Bug fragments! Yay! We did it! We have the bug fragments. So let's chest let's test out millions. I want to remove a lot of the stuff. I think I need to keep that as is. There's millions. Can I make this work? Yes. Alright. Where is Charge Max? I can't have any attack ones, but that's okay. I don't really use my Mega Buster anyway. Yeah. works. I have no idea if this is actually going to work. But we'll find out soon enough. Lock enemy expired. I think we could get into another fight. We could get into one more fight. Right? One more fight. We'll try it one more time. Oh, 
Okay, never mind. I guess we're not gonna be able to get into another fight. Lock enemy. All right, we're gonna find out. If I get any reward that's not money, then I know it doesn't work. We got Zenny. That doesn't mean anything. We could have just gotten lucky. Could be a good sign, I don't know. But. Gunsoul. Okay, it doesn't work. Millions does not work. I had a feeling, but I really want. I was really hoping. All right, I'm putting this back. Uh, I had a bunch of attacks in here. And then the twos, the two speeds. All right. You know, one thing I want to check... Not that. What Navicus parts am I missing? There are two... Uh, there are two custom ones, and I have them both. There's a single custom two. Mega folder... Right, custom two's right here. Two mega folder ones, which I have. One mega folder two. Giga folder I'm missing, but I have the bug frags for. Fast barrier, shield, reflect, anti damage, float shoe, air shoe, undershirts in there, sneak run, oil body fish, battery jungle, collect, millions, humor, chivalry, auto run, auto heal, buster pack. How much does that actually take up? Yeah, there's no way. Uh, body pack, bug stop, soul cleanse, rush, beat, tango. All right, attack plus one. There are only three, one of each. You can only get to plus four this way. If you wanted five, you need to have the attack max. Okay, that's that's correct. Uh, speed, I currently only have two, actually. I'm missing a speed one. It's a uh, yellow. Wait. Is it only in the DS version? End area, end area program dealer? There's a program dealer and end area that I'm missing. Okay. Wait. That dealer is only in... That dealer might only be in uh, the DS version. Because I only see two charge ones. Huh. Um, soul... Uh, double soul time. Soul time plus one. Yeah, there's the three. Attack max, speed max, charges in there. HP plus 50. There should be three of them. Okay. HP plus 100. 200. There's three. 300. There's three of them. 400. There should be three. Yeah. 500. There should be... End area program dealer, huh? 
This might be everything? This might actually be everything except for Giga Folder, which I can get. Uh, is there a shop list? Shop locations. Let me double check this end area one. Um, net dealers, ACDC2, or on end area. Program dealers, here we go. Yeah, there's only two. This shop is only available in 5DS when the Battle Network 3 W slot has been activated, and that's how you get these the speed one, charge one, and HP one. That it just feels so wrong that I don't have them. And there's no way I can get them. Wait a minute. Is this a case where they needed patch cards or item cards? Is this one of those cases? Let me look. Because it feels so wrong. I don't return, no. Tornado air spin north wind. Pass gauge. Any snake, color point, bar sword, unlockers. Huh. Okay, for, so for whatever reason, there's a program dealer in End Area 3, but only in the DS version. That has basically the missing... The missing Navi customizer programs. That's kind of dumb. That's kind of dumb. Hmm. So... Millions doesn't work. We're at the expense of this green mystery data right now. How about this, chat? Let's use up this lock enemy. Let's just use it up. And because I have to grind for money, we are going to reset until I do. We're going to use up this lock enemy. And I know I will not have the money by then, but we'll probably call it. And then do the rest of the money grinding tomorrow and then do the last like two things I need to do and that will be it because this money grinding is going to take a while I could try to do some of it on my own time but most of it will probably be done on stream I don't know well, that sounds like the plan to me If we want, we can, um... You know what we could do after this? After the lock enemy ends, let's go grab... Let's go grab the Giga Folder. And I guess we might as well buy one of the HP memories that I'm missing. Because why not? At least there will be some progress, right? Yeah, we'll take this fight. Yay, Zenny, good. Right now, we're only going for Zenny. Can I get this? No, I can't. There's no way I can. It's not possible. If I was using base, the uh, base Mega Man, then I think I could. No, the charge shot would only damage. It doesn't. It wouldn't break it. Never mind. No, I couldn't. And 
Zenny. Let's keep this going. I know I had Guardian, but I couldn't guarantee to get them all with that. Bug Fragments. Nope. The money grinding in this game, I think, is way more than what Battle Network 3 did. Or 4, I mean. Battle Network 4. I, I money grinded in 4, but I don't remember it being this bad. Granted, like... The money grinding in 4, like, it had to be done, because I had to use the majority of my money on unlockers on the first... Actually, the first two... Yeah, the first two runs, and then the third one run, just to make sure I got everything before I move on, so I didn't miss anything and have to do another playthrough. That's where most of the money went down. But I didn't grind for money until, like, the third or fourth playthrough. To get anything else I was missing. But the grind the grind in four was just playing through the game four times. It was tedious. And even then, like, it could I could have saved time if I got the chips for the level two variants in round two. I could have saved a lot of time by doing that. I am more likely to reset than to get the reward I'm looking for. What we get? Gun soul. Don't need it. I'm pretty sure to do the extra fight, we need to just get a random encounter in under net six. I don't think we need to do the dark uh, teammates again. So that's fine. But still a random encounter. The thing, what's weird is I have the chip corresponding to that, that giga chip in my GBA file. But yeah, I don't have the symbol on the top right. And I wonder why. Like, I'm, I'm confused on why I don't. So I, I need to look something up. I feel like I'm probably missing a detail. I don't, I don't trust Cactus Dance. I, I don't.
What did I get? Zenny. Perfect. Let's keep this going. Taking that. and then gotta wait it out. Oh look, Chaos Lord, but I can't use that. That's gonna destroy the mystery data. Yay, more Zenny. Come on, give me that profit. I was going to say there should be enough for another fight. Number sold this. I want the extra chips. Bug fragments, that is a no. Not taking that. Remember when grinding bug fragments in 3 just required countering the enemy? And Reflect was really good at that? I remember that. That was great. Those were great days. And money grinding just required basically green mystery data in like the final areas. That'd be nice. I do think that this game and Battle Network 4 probably should have had some sort of rebalance. Obviously, they weren't going to actually do that here. But money is a huge issue in both of these games. You need a lot of money, and the game barely gives you any. Lock enemy expired. I might be able to get another fight in. We'll see. Try it a couple more times. Uh, but yeah, you need a lot of money and the game barely gives you anything. We'll try one more time. Honestly, this game... Nebula area should have had a bigger payout from the green mystery data in both Bug Frags and Zenny. There is no reason why it's the same as Undernet. Okay, that's Undernet. Okay. We'll buy the lock enemy. We are not going to use it. Let's go and... Can we do this fight? Yes! We can make this work. Uh, they should at least have late game money thing like most games do. Exactly. Exactly. Uh... Uh, Undernet and Nebula area have the same money and bug frag rewards from Green Mystery Data. That is a mistake. They really should have upped it. It should have been 5,000 Zenny, or hell, even 6,000 Zenny in Nebula area. And then five bug fragments. There is no reason why it's the same number. And that is a big problem right there. Um. No, don't reset. Just gun. And I'm pretty sure Battle Network 4 was in a similar situation where the rewards from Black Earth were either the same or not that much wor more worth it than uh, Undernet.
Also, actually, here's something to point out. I've noticed in Battle Network 4 and 5 that Navis don't seem to drop Zenny. They don't seem to drop Zenny. Now, I was really annoyed with the Zenny, the Zenny drops in 1, 2, and 3. So I'm glad they made the change. The drawback is the Zenny payouts that they do give you were pretty good. So that means you'll most likely have less Zenny overall. I still rather have the change where Larkman here is never going to give me Zenny. He's just going to give me his chip. I didn't really want to fight Lark Man, but I think I saved at the beginning of the area. So we're just gonna fight him. this. I can use that. Uh, this, that, that. And I think another change I would make is let millions affect the in-battle green mystery data. That would make this go by so much faster. I think those changes would be enough. I don't think you would need more than that. I don't remember what changes could be made in 4. Maybe add the millions program. I got a better time. Might as well, right? That we got Giga Folder One. If we go in here, Giga Folder One, hold right, R R L B L L A R B L. There you go. That's it. That is every Navi customizer program in the game. Let's make a trip to Nebula Area 2, buy one of the HP memories, and call it there, I guess. And with how long uh, grinding for Zenny is, I might do some of it on my own time. I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Yeah, I might do some of it on my own time. But I'll probably. We'll probably be getting everything else on stream. Maybe I'll try to get a second HP memory on my own time and then save the other two on stream. Which the other two are a combined total of 80,000 Zenny. So that's a lot of grinding anyway. We'll see. Okay. Let's go back to Nebula. Remember Battle Network 2 when I could just go to Undernet 5? and open the three green mystery data, and each of them had, what was it, 15,000 zenny? Remember those days? I remember those days. Money was not an issue when you, when you have access to that. I 
Actually, this is a good fight. This is one of the fights I... This is one of the fights I was grinding for. Or using to grind with. Whatever. The enemies are just way stronger. So, what do we get? Bug fragments. See, it's still three bug fragments, and we are in a, a harder area, technically. Why am I getting the same amount of rewards? You can't access this place until you beat the game. Like, it's impossible to get here without beating the game. I just think it's dumb. This teleporter. I might as well check the green mystery data. I might as well. Well, actually, I have to head this way anyway. This leads to the net dealer, which was Zenny, so that was nice. All right. Our first one, 20,000 zenny. The next one is 26,000 zenny. However, if I minus out 20,000, we still need 1,000, no, 110,000 zenny. But look, we're. We're at two, 940 HP. That's that's progress, right? I'm going to wrap it up here. <laughs> Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. The grind is long. There's going to be more grinding. I think... If I have time, I'll do a little bit more on my own time to basically get at least one more HP memory from here. But that means we'll get the last two HP memories on stream. And then we need to do basically one more fight, get one more Giga Chip, and then it's the final fight. And then I think we're done. Tomorrow might be the finale. Anyway, have a good day. Later.